Now, let's try to uh, look at how I can compute the absolute risk based on a utility function as well as the relative risk aversion. I want to look at uh, computation of absolute risk aversion and relative risk aversion given a utility function of an investor. So in this case, I am primarily looking at the utility function being a log function. So that's the reason we have taken utility u of w as log w. So this is what we are taking the utility function of the investor. Now the question for me is, I want to derive the absolute risk aversion for the investor as well as the relative risk aversion. So we know the formulas. The absolute risk aversion comes out as minus of u double dash of w divided by u dash of w which means uh, the minus of the second derivative divided by the first derivative that is what will give me the absolute risk aversion. Similarly, the relative risk aversion is this whole absolute risk aversion. I have to multiply it with minus w. So this is what will give me the risk, uh, uh, the relative risk aversion. So we have already discussed the formula, so we can directly use that. And I am also asked to find out the first derivative of both of them. So I should also find out a dash of w as well as r dash of w. So let me find out. So for this I require, so from u of w, I should compute u dash of w, which is the first derivative, log w, the first derivative is 1 by w. Similarly, u double dash of w, the second derivative, the derivative of this 1 by w is minus 1 by w square. So based on this, I can find out the absolute risk aversion out here by using this formula minus u double dash of w which is minus of minus 1 by w squared divided by u dash of w which is 1 by w. So overall works out that the absolute risk aversion is 1 by w. Right, the absolute risk aversion is 1 by w. Now, because I am taking minus of u double dash of w divided by u dash of w, so this comes out that uh, uh, the uh, u uh, absolute risk aversion a of w is 1 by w. And going ahead, a dash of w is nothing but minus 1 by w square. Similarly, now I have to compute r of w, which is minus w times a of w. a of w is 1 by w, giving me minus 1. So r dash of w will be uh, the derivative of this constant, which is 0. So because the derivative is 0, I can very well... Now, it is being uh, talked about, comment on what this tells about the proportion of assets that the investor will invest in risky assets. So, I want to talk about whether she would uh, increase her proportion as her wealth increases. Will the proportion in the risky assets increase or will the proportion in risky assets will be constant? or the proportion in risky assets will go down. So from that perspective, I should look at R dash of W. R dash of W is showing cons zero. So which means the change in R is constant. Change in the relative risk is constant, which indicates that the investor would be having a constant relative risk aversion. If it is positive, then we will say that the investor is having an increasing 
relative risk aversion. If it is negative, I can say that uh, the investor is having a, a decreasing relative risk aversion. Because it is zero, I am saying that uh, the investor who is having a, a log utility function will have a constant relative risk aversion. So, which means the investor will invest a constant proportion in risky assets. Even if our wealth keeps increasing, it's only a constant proportion. So, it would not be an increasing proportion or a decreasing proportion. The proportion of investment in risky assets would be fairly constant. So that is what we can understand from this particular question. So we should get an understanding. So this example, probably we can look at with uh, other similar examples, but this is for uh, 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 a log utility function. How do I really assess the absolute risk aversion as well as the relative risk aversion? All right.